What the hell? <laughs> you didn't even wait until I was actually live to do the what? You know what? Fuck it. Wubba wubba! We're streaming! Just... Blowing the load right there, are we? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Hi. Welcome to another BGN live stream right here on Twitch or on YouTube if you're watching the replay afterwards. I'm Shane's Beer One. That's Bones. <laughs> she, she completely ignored me. <laughs> you know, I gotta say hi. She, she ignored me once again. <laughs> Welcome to another BGN live stream. Uh, today is going to be kind of a follow-up to Tuesday's stream. Uh, if you missed that stream, we played Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And today we're playing its spiritual successor, I want to say. Uh, I mean, it's made by the same guy. It's basically the same kind of game. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I've been meaning to play this game for a while, but I haven't gotten a chance to yet. So this is going to be a blind stream. <laughs> playing it for the first time ever. If you thought I sucked at Symphony of the Night... Yeah, you're in for something, because <laughs> I've never played this before, but I've heard very good things about it since it came out. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. And as always, if you have any questions you want me to answer on stream, put them in stream chat or tweet them to me at BeardyGamingN, and I'll be sure to answer those. As well, let me know if the game audio is too low or too high. I'll adjust it. On the fly, as some would say. <laughs> So yeah, you're just gonna you're just gonna ignore me over there. You're dumb. And okay, she she told me I was dumb and smelled bad, even though I showered today. Oh boy. Fuck fuck you. <laughs> I don't like her. Can you believe that I I invite her to these events and then she openly ridicules me in such a manner? Actually, you know, I can't. I, I can't believe it, actually. That's exactly how she operates. Alright. So I really know nothing about this game other than it's basically a spiritual successor to Symphony of the Night. And... Damn, that's not on that one. Fucking calm down. Again, let me know if it's too loud or whatever. I'll, I'll change it. Well, let's get right into it. I'm actually very excited to play this game. Okay, attack. <clears throat> Backstep is on left bumper. And keep in mind, I'm I'm used to Symphony of the Night Control, so I'm used to Backstep being on Y, so I think I'm going to change that. Jump. Conjure Shard. Directional Shard. Manipulative Shard. Map. Shortcut. Okay, that's... Yeah, that should be fine. The master volume is at 5, but everything else is full blast. Um, I can already tell the music is a bit loud, so I'm going to turn that down. Everything else should be fine. That's fine. English, English. Uh, blood. I can change the color of the blood? I'm going to make it purple. Uh, swap confirm back. No. Shard get animation? Yes. That's fine. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. That should be fine. Alright, let's get right into it. Wow, that's a lot of save files. Twenty-one save files, what? Oh, I can change my name? Bones, what should I make my name? Poopy shithead. Maggie. Oh yeah, perfect. Poopy shithead. Ah, it cut it off at Mick. So it's Poopy shithead MC. Yeah, proceed with that name. That's fine. Uh, and I only have normal difficulty, so I'm only gonna, I'm gonna start on that. So from across the room, Bones, hi, welcome to the stream. Hey. Um, you've played a little bit of Bloodstained yes, before. 
Is that your opinion on it? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good? Good to know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited for this game, especially the since... The Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of... I can't even hear that dialogue. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcome the change. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those games where the dialogue, or at least in these cutscenes, is going to be a little quiet. So if I do have to turn it up, please let me know. But how's everyone doing today? How's uh, how is the realm of chat? Did any of you watch Josh's stream on Tuesday after I uh, I raided him? Did any of you stick around for that? He also he also streamed yesterday. He streamed Resi Four yesterday. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. There's some demonic powers in them there crystals. And in doing so through the gates. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing open. anywhere. Countless innocents died. Yeah, that and sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds like the internet for you. As for the shard binder, yeah, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. This is what the block button is for. I guess the two people survived this calamity. For whom, by some miracle, the rite did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber. Lit I hope that the. Uh, <laughs> I hope that the rest of the voice acting isn't this low, because I can barely hear it over that music. Oh, the demons have returned! And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. She awake! Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Blood. The That's the name of the... Okay. <laughs> and Joannis. Well, I'm letting him rant. I think he's either 100% trolling or genuinely trying his best to elicit negative reaction. I do want to see that update. <laughs> Please. Okay, so here we go. We're in this fucking... We're in this castle. Or we're, uh, we're at least close to the castle. And this is our player character, Miriam. Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. So that's how you Never pronounce mistake. his name. Jeebel. It's not a very menacing name. Bones? If, if someone came up to you with a knife and his name was Jeebel, would you be scared of him? No. <laughs> No. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. Well, clearly not, because he's like the the I head of a demon feel. revolution or whatever. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to. There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. <sighs> the 
We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. Pot, pot of greed? I had the chest there, packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Oh, oh, hello, we're playing the feud. Oh, well, that's different. Look at me go. Whoa. That was loud. <laughs> also, are, there, are those tattoos or a part of a I think they're tattoos. I could, I could do this all day. Okay, what's... That is loud. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 sound effects. Let me see. Let me find another one to break and see if... That's, that's better. That original sound was, like, very loud. Hello, Joannis. Um, can you... Can I talk to you? No? Okay. They're very pretty. I always kind of wanted tattoos like that. Really? I mean, they are nice-looking tattoos. I got a knife and some kung fu shoes. <laughs> Uh, equipment items can be viewed under equipment inside the main menu. Select a slot to change equipment. The item can be equipped by selecting it from the item list. So I can have kung fu shoes or a knife. Kung fu shoes. And I don't have any other accessories other than this scarf. Yeah, I'm gonna see what the kung fu shoes do for me. next order of business is to... Yeah, what's the next order of business? Oh! That- that's a squid! But yeah, I'm pretty sure those are tattoos on her. And they're like, roses or like... Whatever. <laughs> Shoes are weapon? Yes. Anything can be weapon if you hit hard enough. Wait, what? See? I kung fu the shit out of him. Whoa, jeez, Miriam, calm down. Because I got stabbed with a shard. Uh, shard, a crystallized form of demon power. It cannot be handled by an ordinary human being. Does that mean that we're like the chosen one or something? And I can conjure my shard with left bumper. And it consumes magic points. Uh, Cerulean Splash, launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies. Was that a shard? Yes, yes it was, Joannis. I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like... Uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Nice. <laughs> the demon's that's, pre that's pretty metal, dude. Into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. Maybe I want I it. The procedure you discovered halted the corruption. Like what? <laughs> yeah, right. It's, it, it sounds pretty rad. But also it extremely to, painful. That doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. I can take these claws scraping across if my I bones like trouble, a champ. You can help me. You've done it before. That's what she said, though. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck well, here, buddy. I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. You sure about that? Oh, someone's screaming. We gotta go see. She has plenty of storage space in her. Inside. You know. <laughs> okay. The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. <laughs> oh, you can, can fit several. You can fit many things in there. I'll wipe the deck with them. Can you though? Okay, here's a detail I like compared to some of the other Metroidvanias I've been playing recently. The map is on the screen. Like, I don't have to... I Yeah, I can open a bigger map, but the actual map is on the screen. I can see it while I'm playing. That makes a world of difference. Also, we're in Gallium Minerva, or whatever the fuck. I broke that. 
Oh, they have money in them. Wow, that kick is pretty fast, actually. Typical men underestimating how much a woman can take. <laughs> this is... This is already turning into something, all right. Ooh, there's a passageway up here. Oh, wait, hold on, I can... Oh yeah, there's a there's a hole in that roof. Oh, but I can't I can't jump up there. What are all the moves you have, or do you learn more as you go? That's a staple of the Metroidvania genre. You usually just have a standard jump and a normal weapon, maybe a dodge if you're lucky at the beginning. And the whole point of the game is to go through, um, and you find more moves and power-ups as you progress, which will help you reach later areas. I got a potion? That music is still, at least on my end, it's a little loud. Turn my monitor down. But yeah, the whole point of the Metroidvania this genre is that you're supposed to, to power up a base progression. Up so it. as you go through the game, you'll get more power-ups that give you more moves, and that will let you advance further into the game. There are certain doors that can be opened by holding Miram's arm in front of it. Yeah, like this? Well, that's weird. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Uh, I am here. Oh no, Mr. Squiddy. Oh, I kicked him like right in the face. Th that kick is pretty fast. Like compared to... That's almost as fast as the punch in Symphony of the Night. Almost. Oh, hello, sir. Um, there's a harpy flying at me. I'm gonna switch to my knife real quick and see if that won't give me a... Oh, oh I can jump on this. Okay. I killed that harpy. Uh, he is dead now. Oh, but I couldn't get there. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, so it's like the exact same attack, basically. I'm gonna switch back to me. Me Kung Fu shoes. And I'm gonna see if I can get up here. <laughs> cool, I did. Hello, friend. Ooh, I already leveled up. That's interesting. Oh, hello, Mr. Harpy. Get over here. Let me kick you in the shins. Come on, get closer to me. Death. A country dress. Ah, uh, that's... that's in style, I guess. Okay, what does that do? That ups my defense. Hmm. Steam plus... Steampunk plus Magic Fantasy plus Pirate Ship is a good-ass combo of aesthetics. I agree. The, the, um... The look and the aesthetic of the game is gonna get more... Gothic as we progress through, but right now, um... That's definitely what it feels like. Okay, I could go down there. Oh, hello, sir. I'm, you know what? I'm actually gonna go down here. Is this where... This is not where I was. Can I slide? Oh, I can slide! <laughs> Gothic 2? Very good. Thank you. Oh, that guy was super weak. Man, I just kick him in the face a couple times, and, uh... He doesn't get back up. But what does this do? I'm just pointing at things. Hello! Okay, so there- I can slide right off the bat, which is... Oh, a tunic? Okay. A tunic as in... Oh, okay. Oh, but it's worse than the country dress. Okay. Hello, what's going on? Oh, these are save points. Very bench-like, very Hollow Knight. <laughs> Poopy shithead MC. Hey. Alright. And I can go further down. Do I want to keep going further down, or did I want to stay up there? Not sure. All I know is that the enemies are, like, weak as shit right now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh, I got a new shard. 
directional shard. Aim with right stick and press right trigger to attack. Flame cannon, launch a fireball. Can I? Oh my god, again. Well then, what is the? Use the newly obtained flame cannon shard to light the cannon fuse. I see. Well, what's this one? Oh, okay. That's the one that the jellyfish were using. Uh, candles can drop a mono rose when destroyed. A mono rose is a magical rose that res slightly replenishes MP. Good to know. Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Thank you. So now that I'm actually using my mana, they're, they're dropping mana refills instead of uh, instead of health and money. Oh, I thought I was going to punch that guy, but he just walked away, I guess. A lot of gaming YouTubers are playing Resident Evil 3, and I want to watch it for sure. It looks very nice. Um, I've heard very mixed things about Resi 3. Some people, some people love what they did with it, and uh, they love the the improvements and the the remake aesthetic and all that. And some people are a little disappointed with it because apparently it's a lot shorter and a lot less open than Resi 2 was. Yeah, and that's what that's what the that's what people are saying the remake is. It's only around five or six hours. Where the hell am I going? I am just oh, ow ow ow! I got hit by a jellyfish. Ow. But yeah, if that looks like your kind of thing, definitely. Wait, remake? I'm confused. I was like, how are they only on three? Yeah, the one that just came out is a remake of. Three, because 3 originally came out in, like, 1998. The one that people are playing now is a remake. Wait, where am I? Should I keep going this way? Should I... Should I not? Should I have gone back up? Because there's a wall there. I'm gonna go back. But yeah, the, dude, the the one that people are playing that just came out, it's it's a remake of a very old game at this point. Okay. So I'm going to head back, and I'm going to see what the, the deck of the ship uh, had in store, because there was that big guy. I don't know if there was anything past him. Ow! I didn't get to, I didn't get to kick him. Have you played any of them? I'm not a huge Resident Evil guy. I've played a little bit of 4 and like half of 5, and that's about it. They're good games, for the most part. Um, some are questionable. <laughs> but for the most part, they're, they're pretty good games. If you like horror, you would definitely like Resident Evil. Um. Um. I'm gonna save that for later. <laughs> I don't know what was happening uh, with Miriam, but she was um. She she be shaken. All right, let's see if I can't fucking do something about this guy. Here, take my fire. Oh, he's sw he's swinging that thing around, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang tight back here. Oh wow, he was not very tough at all, actually. Interesting. Well, I'm glad I came back then because that's all that was up here. And I got a ring out of it. Is that an accessory? It is. All right, that makes me feel better about myself. Okay, and now... Yeah, now I just keep going down, okay. I'm very surprised that you can slide right off the bat, because usually that's an ability you would get later on in these kinds of games. But uh, Miriam ain't having any of that shit. Okay, let's see if she's gonna have... She did not have issues this time getting off of the bench. Okay, so 
I'm gonna keep going, because I didn't go down. But <gasps> Ooh, flying jellyfish. I don't like the jellyfish flying towards me. Hello, friend. A hairband. Is that another accessory? Or is it a scar? No. Oh, I see. Oh, and that, but hell yeah. Oh, but I remove. Okay. So they're cosmetic too, on top of being stab bonuses. That's that's cool. I like that. That's not okay. Ooh, there's many treasures down here. SP rounds. I don't know what those are. And a gun. I found a gun in the chest. A gun can be shot by equipping a consumable bullet. When you run out, oh, I didn't get to read the rest of that. But apparently, I have a gun. Can I? Oh yeah, I can just have a gun now. With infinite rounds. Wow. So I can just. Hmm. Wow. It does less damage than all of my other weapons. So we're going back to kung fu shoes. <laughs> Oh, I just realized that... Oh, wait, that's a platform. I was gonna say, wait, I can't get out of here. Nope, that was a platform. Alright. Now we need to go back up. And you know what we're doing. We're saving again. Yeah, the backstab definitely does not have the spam ability that the one in Symphony of the Night had. It's more so as treated as an actual dodge rather than some stupid traversal mechanic. Where for some reason the best way to get around early on in Symphony of the Night is to spam backdash. Oh! Hang on. Weapons? Yes. Oh, I don't have... Because I know in this game you can do, like, directional inputs. Hello. You can do directional inputs. To do different moves on specific weapons. So if I do Coral Circle with this, I get, like, a little spin kick almost. Oh, it only does, like, one more point of damage. So... Ah, our, our, our trusty friend Dell Support Assist. Coming in clutch, as always. Please leave. Please, please stop. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. I'm surprised that Ryan hasn't been saying much. Unless he just straight up left. In which case, thank you for staying around to say wubba wubba before I even started, and then bailing. <laughs> yeah, why would I do that? That's like, there's too much recoil, and it only does one more point of damage than my normal attack, so why would I fucking do that? I'm just gonna continue onward like the... Yeah, the vampire hunter I am. I don't know, demon hunter. Oh, oh, oh! There's so many jellyfish. Oh, 